I've told this, I think, at least one other time. It's been a while. But it is my testimony. For many years, I mean, I grew up in a Bible college, literally from third grade on, I lived on a Bible college campus. Graduated from Bible college, poured myself into the ministry in a lot of ways. Hit my 30s and you begin to see things a little differently. I realized something wasn't working. I wasn't sure what it was. I honestly didn't. I was fortunate to do a trip to Israel, came back and now on fire. But everything I was doing wasn't working. I would push and thought I was doing everything correct, but friction. It's relationships, it's church, it happens. And I felt like I should go to Israel and study. Worked for the children of Israel, they went to the desert. Christ went to the desert, I figured might as well work for me too. Not really, but that's the thought. <laughs> and so my wife and I, on a pretty quick decision, I think it took us three months from talking about it to actually landing in Israel, so it was kind of quick. Um, we moved the entire family there. It was well thought out. Um, it's an amazing experience to, to live in Jerusalem. We were, right, we were right next to the West Bank and the parts of Jerusalem. So every day I was walking in and out of the West Bank and a part of Temple Mount, and like I could walk anywhere, and the Bible is just there. It doesn't matter what stone you stepped on it. It's in the Bible. It's, it's the weirdest feeling when you're, when you're walking this. And what was interesting about Israel is Israel is a very expensive country because everything has to be brought in by boat. So prices are through the roof. Our rent was over 3000 a month just for the rent. Food was almost double, no, more than that, almost triple of what it was in the U.S. You can't even buy a gallon of milk, but a half gallon of milk was almost $10. Very, very expensive. We were self-supporting. I had a list of pros and cons before I went. If this works, we can go. If this doesn't work, we can't go. And a lot of it had to do with around my job because I was going to go work full-time, go to college, raise a family, and travel. I know. Looking back on it, that wasn't wise. But that's what God had, had provided. And for the first six months, everything is absolutely amazing. Beautiful country. We're traveling getting into college, starting classes, everything is amazing. And I was finally given the opportunity to do what I had been wanting to do, and that was to lead my very first tour. Finally, everything's coming together. The sky is sunny. I get to lead people in the lands of the Bible and tell them about Jesus. Even better, I get to take them to Temple Mount and show them a place where God lived for a thousand years. It doesn't get better than this. It was gorgeous. The weather was perfect. The group was alive. I'm teaching. I'm just having the time of my life. I am now leading them past where the, the adulterous woman was was met Christ, where the lady put in her two mites right into the temple. All these stories, and I'm standing about 15 feet from where the Holy of Holies would have been. And in my pocket, my phone buzzed. And I pulled it out, and there was a couple emails. And I'm just looking at the subject lines just because what was going on. Change of direction. No longer needed. And every single one of my clients decided I was no longer needed. You want to talk about a punch to the gut. I thought this was what God wanted. I, I am literally standing 15 feet away from where God lived for a thousand years. And this... Is this a sign? Is this what I'm not supposed to do? I've got my entire family. Do I fly home immediately? Flights are $1,500 a ticket. There's seven of us. Like, is this tomorrow I've got to be heading to the airport? Like, 
this can't go on. I've just lost all sources of income. We're self-supporting. There's no one else. I didn't feel like I should leave. So I do what all depressed people. I headed the side of my desert. I never could get clear. I, I didn't. I didn't feel like I should. I, I just had no direction at all. I was like, I don't feel like I should go home. I'm not sure if I should stay. For about two weeks, I was doing my best. Not sure. Nothing was there. I would. Oddly, I received an email. How are you doing? I just recently switched jobs, and I would love for you to come in and talk with us. Can you be in Cincinnati on Monday? I think this was like midweek. And I'm like, I can do that. I, I, I read I at land late Sunday, barely sleep and walk in. And of course, God doesn't do this for everybody. Doesn't always work out this way. But the deal I signed was better than all the other clients I had before. God moves. It's not always this way. But I guarantee you that you have a story. You have something that you can tell that shows how God has worked in your life. 